Hi, it's Ed from the Wanderer's Guide again, back with another hot tip for hikers. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to find the famous Warrior's Wall, one of the most photogenic cliff dwellings in the entire state of Arizona. The hike is rated as moderate due to some route finding and a class 1 scramble at the very end, but this is definitely on the easy end of moderate. To reach the farthest cliff dwelling requires a class 2 scramble, which means there's a potentially fatal fall. It's a tiny cliff dwelling, however, so there's really not much reason to go over there unless you just want someone to take a photo of you standing in it. And that's not the best photo to be had here. The Warrior's Wall is 2.5 miles out and back from the nearest parking area, with an elevation gain of approximately 450 feet. Allow about three hours for this hike. The best light for photography is usually mid-morning to mid-afternoon. Be advised that mountain bikes and drones are not allowed in this area, and you should never take your pet to an archaeological site. The trailhead is located approximately 19 miles from West Sedona on Loy Butte Road, better known to many as Forest Road 525. There are two ways to reach this trailhead, both of which involve rough dirt roads that are passable to a regular passenger sedan in good weather though the going will be slow. Allow about 45 minutes for the drive. The more scenic route is to turn on Dry Creek Road at the western edge of Sedona, then take a left on Boynton Canyon Road and another left on Boynton Pass Road. From there, simply follow the signs toward Honanke, a larger cliff dwelling nearby that requires a reservation in order to visit. No reservations are required to visit the Warrior's Wall. The less scenic route is to take Highway 89A, west towards Cottonwood for about 10 miles and turn on Forest Road 525. Again, from there, simply follow the signs toward Honanke. About a quarter mile before you reach Honanke, there will be a signed dirt parking lot on the left side of the road for Loy Canyon. Parking here is still free as of 2022. Cross the road and take the Loy Canyon Trail heading north. Almost immediately, the system trail enters Hancock Ranch, which is private property. You're not allowed to trespass, so stay on the system trail until you've cleared the ranch. The system trail will climb a small hill on the right side of the canyon, then drop down a little, climb a second hill, then drop down to the canyon floor and parallel the mostly dry main channel of Loy Canyon. At this point, you are still on private property, and the ranch house will be visible on your left. Approximately seven-tenths of a mile from the parking area, the system trail will cross a small side creek, also normally dry, that has steps cut into the opposite bank. This is the first landmark you need to find. It's located at the GPS coordinates shown on the screen and provided in the text below. This landmark is critical because it means you've cleared the private property and are now free to move about the canyon. Continue on the system trail for another three-tenths of a mile and look at the canyon wall on your left as you go. You'll see two large alcoves above you. There's nothing to see in these, but there is a third alcove just around the corner that's not visible yet, and it's this alcove that's your final destination. Approximately one mile from the parking area, there's a social trail that breaks to the left, which we've shown here in blue. It crosses the main channel of Loy Canyon, then heads to a break in the cliffs where you can scramble up. This is the second landmark you need to find. Again, the GPS coordinates for this critical turn are shown on the screen and provided in the notes below. Immediately upon reaching the first major ledge, you'll come to an impressive cliff dwelling with some beautiful dry stack masonry. Grab some photos, but don't turn back here because the picturesque warrior's wall is just around the bend on the same ledge. At this point, you might be wondering, could this hike possibly get any better? And the answer is, absolutely. If you have reservations, you could stop in at Honanke or Palatki, two of the largest cliff dwellings in the Verde Valley. Plus, there are numerous scenic viewpoints, cliff dwellings, and rock art panels nearby that could easily be added to extend this hike and make it a little bit more challenging. These include two of our favorites, the Wall of the Ancients and Wu Ranch. Any of these would be a worthy destination all by itself, but added to the Warrior's Wall is sure to make for a day you'll never forget.
To get the GPS tracks for these locations and all the other hidden secrets in Red Rock Country, download the Wanderer's Guide to Hiking Sedona. Written specifically with photographers in mind, this is the most comprehensive guidebook available to the scenic wonders of the Verde Valley. Be sure to enter promo code LOYCANYON at checkout to receive a 10% discount.